Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome to Intro to DJing. And if you're like me, you may have different ways of wanting to categorize your music. Say you have a song and it's a 70s track, but it's also a disco track. So what should you put for the genre? Should it be 70s or disco, but you kind of want it to be 70s and disco? Well, this is what multi-tags allow you to do. Now, unfortunately, in Tractor, you can only have one genre, which means I would need to choose whether I have 70s or disco. Instead, what we can do is use multi-tags to tag a song as 70s and disco, and that way we can sort all of our 70s songs, which will include non-disco songs, all of our disco songs, which will include songs not from the 70s, or a tag that is basically a join of 70s and disco. So the way I do this, and I fig figure this out from some articles based on digital DJ tips, I'm going to link those articles in the description, there are a number of them, but I use Tractor's comment to field, which is a proprietary field here in Tractor, so we can right click on the header in the browser and click comment to, and you can see I have filled out all of my tracks with comment to. Now, the way I do this is I basically start by tagging the decade that the song is in, then I can basically do things like genre and then other things like, is this a segue? Is this a popular track? Is this an R&B and a hip hop track? How many views does it have on YouTube? Is it a banger? Is it a sing-along song? These sorts of things. So what I've done is created these three character codes for all of my songs. And now what I can do is create smart playlists that look for this and this or this or this or what I do more often is just search here directly for these tags. So if you allow inline editing in the browser, when you import a new song, you can basically double click on the comment to field and fill in the tags that you want to have and be sure to separate them by spaces. So say this song Camelot, this is a song from the 2010s. It's a hip hop track. It's kind of a, a hood song. So I'm gonna put HOD and it has over 2 million views on YouTube. And by doing this, now what I can do is by searching in the field, I can actually search for combinations of tags as long as I use the separator. So going back to the example we started out with, if I want to find 70s track, I just type in 70s and hit enter. And I see my 70s tracks that also include rock, classic rock, sing-along, and disco songs. If I want to find disco tracks, I put in the tag for disco, which I use DCO. And sure enough, I see 70s tracks for disco, but there are also some 80s tracks thrown in. And if I want to specifically find 70s disco, I use this space with the 70s. Now, it doesn't matter which order you do it. That's the beauty of the multi-tag system. And it will look for all tracks with the combination of this and this. Remember, your music database is a database. So what we're basically doing is a database join operator, those of you who are SQL people. So be sure you enable that comment too. And what I try to do whenever I add in new music is I just set these multi-tags by double clicking and filling in the information that I find relevant. And the information that's probably gonna be useful to you is going to be genre, energy, and then things that are helpful for mixing. So what may be helpful for mixing is actually whether the song ends, whether the song has some sort of um, fade out or a an intro. These are things can, that can be helpful. Is this a song you can slam in or a slam edit? These are things you can look for as well. So if I'm playing some tracks and I wanna change BPMs very quickly, I can look for slam edits and basically sort this by beats per minute, which is really, really cool. So don't be afraid to utilize the multi-tag system. This is kind of my way of doing it, but find a system that works for you, find your own tags, and don't be afraid to do this. The one thing to be sure of is just be sure you have some sort of delineator. I use the square brackets, but you can use something like a hashtag, the pound sign, or something like this, just so that way you know what you're doing when you're searching for tags and be consistent when tagging your music. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.